about once every millennia, something innovative and exciting pops onto the scene of diabetes. I was going to call it diet business, the business of diabetes, but it sounds nefarious, it sounds dirty, and um, I really want to blog about it soon anyway. So we'll get back to diet business. But what we're talking about right now is the fact that there is a product that is insulin. Like oral insulin, yes, it goes in the oral cavity. I think it's called the, the buccal mucosi, right inside your cheek. Um, it's a lot sexier than Exubra, too. It, rather than coming in something the size of a fire extinguisher, it comes in something the size of an inhaler. And everybody's like, yeah, Allie, yeah, we've heard about it. It's called Orlin, but it's in Ecuador. Yeah, it's in Ecuador, but it's coming to America. <laughs> you should be excited. I think it's fantastic. I mean, and I don't get excited about, you know, human analog type things, but this is not an analog. This is actually generic human insulin. It is not analog. It's not tweaked around. It's the real thing. So it's as close to the real thing as you're going to get without slaughtering human beings. So it's it's the first generation of insulin, and this is where it should have stayed. It did not need to go elsewhere, but I'm not going to embellish with my thoughts right now. Point is, oral insulin is coming. This is fantastic. This stuff may even be better than injectable insulin for, you know, corrections and for um, coverage, more or less, you know, meals. They say the most effective way to dose this is to, you know, split your dose in half and take half before your meal, half after. It is more effective in its absorbency rate, meaning when you're injecting insulin, you're really only inject you're only absorbing between 20 and 40 percent of it, and this, because it's going through the the inner lining of the cheek, it is more, uh, it's absorbed more effectively than 20 to 40 percent, and the concentration is higher. It is a, a U500 rather than the U100 we're all used to injecting, but um, this stuff may actually make it possible to not have to use as much insulin, which time and time again in studies has shown that, and um, one of my frequent visitors, um, Mr. Sanct Pauli, has mentioned many times that uh, um, 0.5 units per kilogram is basically the safest dose for patients with autoimmune diabetes, type 1 diabetes. Meaning, you know, you can do the math. I love numbers, so I could sit there and do the math all day. Here's what my body weight is in kilograms. If I'm only taking, you know, half a unit per kilogram, you know, you realize your body's probably in a very safe place. And um, please, read the comments on Ali's voice, because what other people have to say, uh, you know, about their thoughts and feelings on this, on all of the subjects I blog about, um, that's where the real, that's where the, me the real meat and potatoes of Ali's voice is. It's what you guys are saying. It's what everybody else who are my allies with diabetes living with, you know, living with this. We, you know... I kind of started off, you guys, you, you you top it off. You're the finishing touches. And I love that about Allie's voice, and I love that about everybody. And thanks for joining me. Catch me on YouTube or check out Allie'sVoice.com. Subscribe, and you'll get an email every time I blog. See you next time.